Hello and welcome to the new People's News Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of December 31st, 2020. To start off with, we, we apparently, thanks to Donald Trump, the United States will now be giving 100,000 mixed status immigrant families in Indiana stimulus checks this time around. So isn't that nice? So basically now the undocumented people in Indiana will now be able to receive a $600 stimulus check. And a woman is accused of beating a COVID positive, COVID-19 positive child for not wearing a mask. I don't want to be her mom. That would not be good. And December 30th, which was yesterday, was the deadliest day we've had in the COVID outbreak so far this year, breaking 3,900 fatalities. And a homeless advocate organized a blockade of a performance by a Christian worship group to protest COVID-19 restrictions. And President Trump had them, could not figure out who audited the signatures of 15,000 absentee ballot envelopes in Georgia County, but they found no fraudulent absentee ballots according to an audit shows. So Trump's basically still trying to do electoral fraud crap. And then also President Trump and First Lady basically have decided to cut their vacation short and return to the White House. January 1st is the last day of early voting for Georgia. So if you're out there in Georgia, please vote blue because blue will save lives, red will not. And president elect, the presidential inaugural committee said Thursday that it would hold an event the evening of January 19th, calling it the first ever lighting around the reflecting poll and memorization of Americans lives who were lost due to COVID-19. And then we also have McConnell signed the House $2,000 stimulus check bill. Well, signals, sorry. He signaled that that bill will not pass the Senate. COVID-19 long hauler study found out that there's 205 symptoms in 10 body organs due to COVID-19. Research on people with long lasting symptoms of COVID-19 is still in the early stages, but vital to those who have changed drastically because of it. And a Wisconsin Medical Center where 57 vials of Modena coronavirus vaccine was discarded says the employees who removed the vaccine from the freezer did so intentionally and was no longer working at the hospital. Vaccine in this saying that we actually might not might start to need a vaccine passport to start traveling. And McConnell dashes hopes of coronavirus relief checks in standalone bill. And on with the stimulus tech check news. Well, let's find out today. As you know, there are two different $2,000 stimulus bills that are out there. One of them is Democrat that passed, passed the House of Representatives. And basically, it is a standalone bill that does increase the stimulus payments from $600 to $2,000. The second bill is one of Mitch McConnell's own creation. McConnell says there is no realistic path forward for standalone $2,000 stimulus checks. We covered that and we covered this a few days ago. Because Mitch McConnell doesn't want to pass a standalone. He doesn't want to help the people, basically. <clears throat> And yesterday, Mitch McConnell called the Democrats' $2,000 bill a socialism for the rich and said the Senate will not split apart the three issues. In fact, here's a clip for you. The Senate is not going to split apart the three issues that President Trump linked together just because Democrats are afraid to address two of them. The Senate's not going to be bullied into rushing out more borrowed money into the hands of Democrat rich friends who don't need the help. This morning, Schumer called McConnell's bluff. He told him that they would vote on them, but as separate pieces of legislation. I got another clip for you right here for that. 
I hope they all heard the reason they will not receive $2,000 checks is because Leader McConnell thinks it could wind up in the hands of, quote, Democrats' rich friends. Now, let's be very clear. There is one way and only one way to pass $2,000 checks before the end of the year, and that's to pass the House bill. It's the only way to get the American people the $2,000 checks they need and deserve. The House is gone for the session. Any modification or addition to the House bill can't become law. Either the Senate takes up and passes the House bill, or struggling Americans will not get $2,000 checks during the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression. And Leader McConnell knows this. So he has said that the Senate can only vote on a bill that combines the checks with other unrelated partisan policies. Repeal Section 230, an investigation into the president's dishonest and bogus claims of election fraud. The Republican leader claims that President Trump insists that all three issues must be addressed in one bill. But of course, the president has made no such demand. President Trump couldn't care less about how the bills are packaged in Congress. So the Republican leader has invented an excuse to prevent a clean up or down yes or no vote on $2,000 checks coming to the floor. This maneuver to combine all three issues is intended to kill the possibility of $2,000 checks ever becoming law. Just to prove it, let me make this offer to the Republican majority. We're willing to vote on the other issues that President Trump mentioned. All the issues the Republican leader says must be addressed as so long as we vote on them separately. That way, $2,000 checks could become law, and we could debate all the president's supposed concerns. We can vote on setting up a commission to look at the president's roundly rejected claims of voter fraud. We'd also have the commission look at voter suppression and gerrymandering. That's completely unrelated to help Americans paying their bills. But we're willing to take a look at the whole picture. Just give us a vote on the House passed bill so we can get help now to people who desperately need it. Heck. We can also have a vote on repealing 230. We can do it today. I think that Schumer is actually being completely reasonable about wanting to actually vote about on these three bills separately instead of as one piece of legislation. Because we all know that the repeal of Section 230, as well as the, the um, committee to check out the uh, presidential elect election fraud, are two uh, poison pills for the Democrats. But Schumer did mention that those, those vote them on separate bills. Senator Lindsey Graham, which is a longtime ally and friend of President Trump, said that with the new Congress, the 117th Congress, on January 3rd, he wants a standalone bill, sorry, a standalone vote on the um, $2,000 stimulus checks and on the um, Section 230 repeal, as well as on the Voter Fraud Committee. And this, the Senator Lindsey Graham is actually a Republican senator. In fact, I, he was on Fox and Friends this morning, and I got a clip for you of that interview right here. Yeah, senator Graham, let me shift back to the Capitol Hill standoff and where things stand with the $2,000 stimulus checks for the American people. When President Trump yeah. first made that push, everyone said, no way that happens. Then, of course, the House did it. <laughs> now it's sort of sitting in limbo with Majority Leader McConnell, who says there's no realistic path forward. Where do you see things standing? Well, there. I think if you had a standalone vote on the $2,000 check, uh, it might pass. Here's the facts. 70% of Republicans don't want to go to 2000. They think it's a $430 billion cost to the Treasury. They think it's an inefficient way of giving money to people who are hurting because a lot of people making $75,000 or less haven't been out of work. But I'm with the president on this. I'm in South Carolina. Our economy is really hurting here. So McConnell is right. There's no way to get a vote by January the 3rd. The new Congress begins noon, uh, January the 3rd. So the new Congress, you could get a vote. And here's what I'd like. I'd like a standalone vote in the new Congress on the $2,000 check. We have seven Republicans who've already said they would vote for it. We need five more. I think if we had the vote, we would get there. But I want to vote on repealing Section 230. The untold story is that Democrats are in the pocket of big tech. President Trump wants three things a commission to investigate fraud, 
$2,000 checks and to repeal Section 230. I'm urging Senator McConnell to give a standalone vote in the new Congress after January 3rd on all three measures. And I would predict that if you had a standalone vote on uh, the $2,000 check, it's better than 50-50, it would pass. So just very quickly, Senator, know, did you, sorry, Rachel, one, one follow up on that. And that ahead. is, so if you do the standalone, what about the fiscal conservative aspect of this? You've heard some conservatives talking about you just can't yeah. e add, you know, 200, 300, right. 400 uh, yeah. billion to the federal debt. Well, it's $400 billion. They're not wrong to be concerned about the expense. They're not wrong to be concerned by the fact that this is not the most efficient way. There are a lot of people who make $75,000 or less a year that work for the government that haven't been laid off one day. But I've seen with my own eyes the destruction of small businesses in South Carolina. And that is all the time I actually have right now for this video. So, um... If you guys like it, please hit that subscribe button and that like button and let me know, okay? And you're more than welcome to leave all the comments you want in my comment box below. And until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening, and I wish you all a very wonderful and happy new year. Until next year, be safe, be happy. Bye.